and welcome my name is pankaj dubey and in this video we are going to talk about software testing types so we'll try to understand the testing types with a graphical uh, chart where uh, you can understand the how how the testing types are uh, related with each other and uh, what is the relation between each testing types so you can see here that software testing has two main parts static testing and dynamic testing so static testing means testing the uh, an application uh, without executing the code so what you can test without executing the code is the documents and designs that has been created as part of the development okay so the review work through and inspection these are the methods that is implemented uh, while uh, performing the static testing for any uh, product the other is dynamic testing dynamic testing means testing an application by executing the code so if, which means that you have a developed product and now you have to ensure that it is a bug free tool it is a bug free application okay so the difference between these two is that you have to uh, in static testing you are verifying the process or the uh, or the each document or designs which is ha which has been created as part of the development and in dynamic testing it has further two parts functional testing and non functional testing so once a developed uh, product uh, is received by the developers he'll have to make sure the functional and non functional aspects of application is working fine so if we talk about the functional testing it has two approaches of implementing in the testing one is called white box testing and the other one is called black box testing while uh, there are three uh, third method two third approach two called the gray box testing but which is, that is very uh, minimal and that is uh, basically a combination of white box and black box and uh, it is very rarely used so what is white box testing white box testing is also called the glass box testing or the open box testing because here the tester has to do something with the uh, coding stuff so he has to make sure or the, or the tester has to check that how the coding works and uh, how the input is processed and the output and uh, the the way of covering is uh, the method of performing the white box testing is unit testing where the code statement path and branch coverages are done uh, basically it is a process of uh, code review and uh, maintenance and uh, there are many other things as part of the unit testing which is done and uh, if you talk about black box testing then uh, first one is called integration testing where uh, once the two units are developed two different different segments are developed by the developers and when the two or more than two uh, units are merged together then how does it perform then to make sure this uh, the integration testing is done integration testing is again something uh, that may come under the black box testing or the white box testing so it depends upon your stakeholder client or the the, the model that you are following based on that you can keep the integration testing under the white box testing or the black box testing method then it will be further followed by the smoke and sanity testing so smoke and sanity testing means testing the critical functionalities of your application so uh, let's consider a website's example so uh, like until unless the your url is not accessible uh, you can uh, uh, until uh, you cannot log in or register in your website you won't be able to perform so many tasks of your application so these are the critical functionalities that needs to be checked and passed as part of the uh, part of the smoke sanity testing so basically it's a build verification activity where tester will gain enough uh, confidence so that they can perform the other types of testing uh, and they can consider that the build is stable okay further it will be followed by the functionality testing where all the newly introduced features or the modified features will be tested uh, which has released as part of the latest build or release okay so uh, also you have to make sure that your all old functions and all existing functionalities are working okay and to uh, make sure that you have to perform the regression testing then uh, the system testing so system testing means oh, how your application works when it is integrated with other software systems so let's say there are two uh, web websites which is communicating with each other with the uh, with the help of apis then how your web applications requirement will uh, perform when it is combined with the other when it is integrated with the other software systems because nowadays the the business complexities are increasing day by day and in, in that case the uh, standalone application will uh, not be very useful you will have to uh, make the other applications communicate with your website and you will ha also have to enable your website so that it can communicate with the other system 
so testing the functionalities in and to end environment is called the system testing for that it will be followed by the user acceptance uh, testing where the uh, the stakeholder will perform the testing to make sure that the uh, the application passes the acceptance criteria and it can be received by the uh, stakeholders okay and uh, there are two types of uat one is called alpha testing and uh, the other one called is called the beta testing so alpha testing is something which is done in the testing environment by uh, some uh, testers and beta testing is done in the live environment by the end users so you must have seen some application or the website uh, with the label as beta version so it means it is in testing phase and it is uh, deployed in the live for the end users use so that they can they can use they can provide their valuable feedback they can report the bugs and that will be considered as as part of the testing now if you talk about the non functional testing so you will have to check the security the compatibility the performance of your application and it will be considered as uh, non functional testing types so the load and stress testing will be done as part of the performance testing so load testing is to check that how your web application behaves or how your application behaves under specific load and stress testing is done to ensure that uh, to check that what is the breakpoint of your web application so you can plan for the backup or the load balancer uh, once the traffic reaches at the maximum uh, capability of your application compatibility testing you will also have to check that how your application uh, renders and how the how is the responsiveness of your application when it comes to different different devices different different os versions and different different browsers security testing is done to ensure that no confidential information is passed to the uh, third party or any unauthorized person no unauthorized person can log in into your uh, into uh, your application and uh, how the data travels and how is how safe is the data traveling over the network so that will be tested as part of the security testing recovery testing means do you have a way of backing up the data and how does it recover once your application crashes then the usability testing how easy is the use of your application will be tested as part of the usability so the images are not overlapping with each other and uh, such such issues will be caught as part of the usability testing and then the cookies testing and session management how your application is dealing with that will be tested as part of, part of the cookies testing okay now let's consider a sign up form example and uh, we'll try to see that how the different different testing types can be implemented on a registration form so if you go to a layman person any business person and uh, they do not understand the importance of the testing they simply ask that what will be the things that you will test as uh, uh, on a sign up form he will simply say some validations like in in the age, age section try putting 200 and see how whether it accepts it or not so they'll give you two three estimates but there are different different uh, testing types that you will have to implement on a registration form that you can give the example so in this uh, uh, slide it is very tiny so i have already opened it in an image format so this is the registration form and these are the fields so as we as we have seen in this chart that we will divide the testing into static and dynamic testing so as part of the static testing the walk through and inspection is being done here so the qa person will go to the requirement gathering person and he'll ask uh, to show uh, and take him through the requirement document uh go through the designs and flow charts perform the risk budget analysis and uh, will try to assess all the all of them whether those are practical or not then the inspection so he will have a certain checklist or a set of questions he'll go to the uh, designer or the requirement gathering person or the developer and he'll ask uh, some questions and will try to judge uh, that the process is being followed properly so he may ask or the qa person may ask is the password pattern defined what is the password pattern what if a user is already registered are the mandatory fields defined so these are some questions that he uh, or the qa person may ask okay now come to the dynamic testing so uh, as we have seen that dynamic testing has two parts functional and non functional so if we talk about functional then the black box testing and white box testing will come into the picture and as part of the white box testing the unit testing and integration testing will be performed where uh, the tester will have to deal with the uh, with the internal uh, structure of the code like the database source code the the conditional uh, logics which has been implemented so the tester will test those parts 
Now, as part of black box testing, user has nothing to do with the internal working of the code. And uh, there are different different types of testing that can be performed like smoke testing, functional testing, regression testing, system and UAT testing. Whereas there are many other testing types too. But here in this scenario, we are only covering the major uh, testing types. So as part of smoke testing, uh, he'll check whether the URL is accessible or not, whether the database integration is done or not. And as part of the functionality testing, uh, he'll ask for the field validation or he'll test the field validation. Uh, whether the record is inserted in DB or not, once you, si once you complete the sign up form and uh, click on submit button, then it will check whether the records are inserted in database, how the duplicate users are handled, uh, how is the mandatory field errors, whether it is matching with the, with the documentation or not. And then the regression testing, we will check the existing functions. Uh, and uh, then system testing will be performed, how the system works in end to end testing environment. And the uh, same will be for followed by the user acceptance testing where the end user will perform some testing and will try to assess whether the application is acceptable or not. Now come to the non-functional testing, the performance testing will be done. So here are uh, two, two examples. So one is for load and second in one is for stress testing. So in load testing, the tester will uh, see that how the application behaves under different, different loads. And uh, also he'll try to make sure that, also he'll try to check that what is the breakpoint of your application. I mean, uh, how many users comes, of, uh, let's say if 100 users comes on your website, then your application crashes or it responds very slow. So also you have to check that as part of the performance testing. As part of the compatibility testing, tester will check that how is the compatibility of your application with different, different OS and browsers and the devices and different, different screen sizes. Usability testing means how easy a user can use your application that there is no overlapping of the boxes or, or texts and uh, the navigation is clear, you can easily interact with your application. So these are some things that will be tested as part of the usability testing. Now the security testing. So uh, the tester will have to check that there is no one, uh, vulnerabilities in your application and uh, there is no data stealing can be done and the data encryption is properly implemented when it comes to data traveling over the network and uh, there is no unauthorized access, no robots can crawl your, uh, your website to make some kind of a bad impact on your website or your application. The cookies and session management will be tested and it will be also tested for the compliance. So that's all that we uh, will be testing on a sign up form and that's how uh, in this video we have tried to understand that how, how and uh, what are the different types of testing uh, exist and how they will be implemented on any given requirement. So that's all in this video and in this video, uh, in next video we'll see the black box techniques.